one of the topics discussed by Belize's Prime Minister and Mexico's President during an, that is a quote-unquote, unofficial meeting this week, was the energy crisis Belize has been experiencing for a few weeks since Mexico's CFE has been unable to provide all the contracted power supply to Belize. The PM provided an update on the solar power plants that are to be constructed using funds from Saudi Arabia, including a battery system to be able to store electricity. We, we get along very well and hoping um, to see if he can help us to stop the load shedding um, in Belize. But I think that Mr. Lindsay has rightly pointed out this is something that was, this the seed was, was, was planted 10 years ago and um, the previous government did nothing. We have been doing something. We have man managed to convince the Saudis to lend us $72 million to do a, a 60 megawatt um, solar plant. Um, but this is not something that, okay, it's here $72 million, nobody gives that U.S. There's a whole process we have to go. It's a huge bureaucracy that the, the Saudis have. And so we have been working with, with them and one of the, the um, Saudi company um, that will be able to come in to, to build the first 20. We, well, what um, Ms. Mencias, you Mencias uh, explained to us, he says, listen, the grid as it is can't hold a 60 megawatt plant all in one spot. So we need to break it up in three, 320 uh, megawatts in plant. So the first one is going to be built by Bomba. And from, from what the reports I got, we expect that that's supposed to be commissioned by July, August of, of next year. We have been working with the World Bank. We have about about $100 million to be able to set up a battery bank. And what's a battery bank? Well, what is it? Is that with this battery bank that there are certain times when CFE's energy goes to two, three cents a kilowatt, like around two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning when there's not hardly any use of this energy. So we could buy at two or three cents, store it in these bar, in these uh, battery banks, and then put it on into the grid or sell it down to the grid with a hope to be able to, if not maintain the price, at, uh, at least to maintain the price, or hopefully with time to be able to reduce the price. So the, a lot of work has been, um, has been coming along. As to Mexico's CFE, PM Bersenio said AMLO has organized a meeting for the weekend between the management of CFE and BEL. And what he is doing for now for Belize is that he will be in Cancun on Saturday. And um, the head of the CFE um, um, uh, will be um, in, in Cancun because he is, um, he, every two weeks he comes president to take a first and look at the work for the fair mines. And um, so he'll be here on Friday and Saturday at 5 o'clock, he'll, um, he'll be arriving in Cancun. And having a meeting on this, we'll be arranging a meeting with me and um, I've already invited um, BL to, to join me to meet with the people from city to see what we can do to be able to put out the, 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 the role also in the community. The Prime Minister also explained that additional funding for other parties to feed energy into the grid will be made available through the Millennium Challenge Corporation. The Millennium Challenge Corporation, remember they're giving us a grant of $125 million. And of that, 20% of that $125 million will be invested in energy, in improving the technology, improving the grid. Um, and a part of that is we're going to use a part of that money to help us to finance uh, the battery um, storage bank that, that we, we're working on. Now that LFP process has been now approved by, by the cabinet. Now that that is in place, now anybody that has a, a good business plan that can show that they have access to the technology and that can show access they have um, access to, to the funding, they can come in and put their bid to be able to produce energy for the, for the plan. During his interview on Wednesday, the Prime Minister was asked if he believes that BEL has failed the country the last few weeks due to its inability to supply sufficient energy to the country. The PM reminded that BEL's mandate is to distribute and not produce electricity. He said it's the system that's at fault and that it will be addressed. He also explained that purchasing power from Mexico is cheaper than relying on the gas turbines that are being prepared to be used in Belize City and San Pedro. The Prime Minister also admitted the adverse effects 
of power outages have had on many sectors. Not necessarily. And I say this because BS mandate is transmission and distribution. And I know that the minister is you know, trying to also do energy to produce energy. But that's not their mandate. And what has failed is the process previously in the, in the previous government uh, with the PUC. And I know that PUC and the BL have always been having this trouble. And my, 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 my message to both of them have been this we have to stop this foolishness. And we need to be able to work together. And I think as the CEO has, or BL has explained, we have two engines that are going to be commissioned. One supposed to be this week, which is about 30 megawatts. And once we do that, then we could be able to bring the approaches that are already about 21 megawatts. It's a registration in San Pedro that should be commissioned by the end of the month. Once we have that, that will give us a capacity of about 51 megawatts of electricity. It means then that if CFE would need to cut the leaves, these generators could take over without anybody losing um, electricity. And then once CFE then can provide uh, back again to us, then we shut down these engines and get from from um, Mexico. I know some people say, well, why would you buy from Mexico? Well, we buy from Mexico because it is cheaper than using the, the diesel engine. So, um, so we have a plan. I understand the frustration, and uh, myself, I get upset when my house is um, in the corner. My house gets locked too, by the way. I don't have a generator. <laughs> I don't have a generator. Um, um, so I understand the frustration, and, and it has a direct impact on it. All the work that we've done these three months, these three years in the economy, in the tourism, call centers, um, in agriculture, in production, you know, so we cannot afford this. So it's not something that we want to have.